All right, welcome back everybody. So today I've got an interesting one I'm starting. Uh, this bay uh, tiling here um, is all gonna be uh, coming off, gonna be retiling it. Um, I did do a video um, similar to this over a year ago. It was a rounded bay. This one's uh, probably a little bit more complicated actually, because there's um, the other one was like perfectly rounded. This one's got some mitre details going on. I think there's five edges, one, two, three, four, five. A um, little bit of a sprocket type detail as well in it. Um, so yeah, we'll uh, we'll see how I get on with this one. So we're going to be getting some club tiles similar to this to go in the middle. So we're going to be having a diamond shape in the middle. Um, the supplier hasn't got a hold of those yet, but I've got the uh, the red tiles that are going on. So I'm going to strip and get started, and hopefully um, get the uh, club tiles shortly without delaying me too much. So, uh, so yeah, first job is to uh, strip it all out and see what we got. All right, there we go. Well, that came off uh, pretty easy. A lot of it just came off still connected to the buttons. So that saved me uh, an extra job of getting all the button off. But um, there we go. So you've got the um, some original um, step flush in here from, uh, I guess, the original tile bay. Um, it's been rendered since then. But uh, OK, well, we'll get the sides off. See what we've got behind All right, so I've got the uh, the new felt on. I'm just getting rid of the uh, the old tiles here. I mean, these are um, quality old uh, dreadnought clay tiles. The uh, loads of um, club tiles on here as well. So it's a shame that they've been painted, really, because they're uh, fairly decent, fairly decent quality tiles. But um, anyway, so we've got the uh, the new ones up. We are going to have a little club diamond in the middle, um, in grey, and then the rest in. Uh, Old English red. Um, it's like red with uh, little sort of black streaks on it. So uh, yeah, anyway, I'll tidy up. I'm just basically tidying up the mess so I can uh, give myself a bit of room to uh, start battening it up. Um, so that's the next job. <clears throat> All right, so I've gone round and I've, uh, I've battened up my eaves, my eaves course on my first uh, tile course here, and then I've gone eight inch up. I'm now going to uh, fill in the gap, and I've also got the top one to put in there, but I was going to leave that for tomorrow because I've got to cut out this lead. Um, yeah, I was going to, rather than it being awkward, I'll leave the top one for now. Um, but I've put um, I put two nails in each fixing point because there's only two there's two pieces of timber on each side that I can fix the battens to. And when I took it off, I mean you might have noticed when I was stripping it, it was coming off. Um, when I was pulling the tiles off, I actually pulled the whole batten off as well because uh, I think the weight of the tiles was was putting a bit of stress on the fixings. So because um, there was only two, so I've put a couple of nails in each one just to give it a bit extra strength. Um, yeah, so I'll uh, fill in the rest of the buttons. So yeah, I've only put one nail on my infills. I'll go around and double nail those as I did with the originals. And um, 
and then it's uh, start gauging out and setting up ready for tiling. So I'm gonna I'm gonna be fitting a, a, a diamond. Well, I've got these red tiles here, the old English, as I said, and then I've got gonna do a diamond uh, club um, sort of decoration in the middle there. But my supplier is having an issue getting hold of them at the minute. So uh, I was gonna start with the middle, but um, I'm lacking my club tiles. I mean, I have actually got two that um, that I can use actually to sort of set it out. But uh, waiting on those, hopefully I'll get them in the next day or two. Otherwise I'm gonna be messed around. But um, other than that, I'll uh, crack on with um, tiling the rest of it. So I've started again the uh, tiles on. There's a lot of cutting to do. Obviously each of these um, sides here needs to be mitered. I've got me uh, fishtail um, soakers that are gonna go up in between each course. Um, so yeah, it's going to take a while to be fair, because there is a lot of cutting to do, but, um, anyway, I'm getting there. All right, so, so in order to get, um, your nice neat cuts on the, uh, the mitre here, uh, one way of doing it, <coughs> I've been using, this is one technique I'm using. So you can put this tile um, in the position where it's supposed to be. And then we're going to need a tile and a half to go here. And it needs to be cut appropriately. So what we're going to do is we're going to get, put this tile in position. And I'll draw a little line on the button there. Then I'm going to position this tile and a half this is the one we want to cut here I'm gonna get another tile and a half I'm gonna line it up at the angle of this edge where we want the cut and then I'm gonna score my line on here and that line is my cut line So now we've made our cut and put this tile back in alignment with where it goes with our little mark and our cut should fit nicely right there like that jobs are good all right so i've just been uh, cracking on getting there um i've got me uh, club tiles finally look quite nice so it's basically just loads of cutting it's covered in dust at the minute i mean this will um this will wash off and it'll come up quite nice um loads of mitre cuts to do um i showed uh, i did a little video of doing a um tile and a half i mean if you're just doing the normal plain tiles you can keep that tile in place line up the next tile in line with the diagonal here on the one edge draw your pencil line down this tile here and then um and then you take that one away to cut swap them around that one goes there and um and that works out quite well it's uh yeah it's been it's been going all right so uh, i'll crack on
All right, so I've tiled up um, mostly. I've just got the top course and then the lead flashing to do. Um, I've got a few cuts there down there piled up. Because what I'm going to have to do on the on the edges is I'm going to um, I'm going to take all of these back out again, and then I'm going to bed back up the render and retile in, retile into the render. Um, to seal that up. At some point in the future, the customer is saying that he wants to add insulation. So this wall is going to come out probably another 100 mil or so, or I don't know how fit they uh, do it. It's about 100 mil, I think. Um, so it's going to kind of cover um, part of the uh, the tiling I've done. Um, and at the moment it looks a bit uh, a bit dirty, but that's mostly just dust and messy fingerprints from my gloves and what have you from all the cutting I've been doing. So, um, so that'll all wash off. Um, there's one fell out there but again I'm going to need to take the, that edge out and then I'm going to re-bed up um, and then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add an eaves course um, and then I've just about got enough room my eaves course I'm just going to nail in I'm going to cut the nibs off and nail them in and I've just about got enough room to fit another batten up there which is going to be uh, it's going to have my lead flashing fixed to it and then I'm going to screw the uh, batten in with the lead nailed to the top of the button, fold it down. And that's basically how I've uh, worked out. I'm going to um, seal that in properly. Um, so yeah, carry on. All right, so uh, battling the weather on this job, it's been uh, off and on raining the last couple of days. I'm sorting out the lead work in the back of my messy van. And um, so this is basically what I'm doing. I've got um, fitting my batten up there. The lead goes over the top of the batten. I've got copper nails fixing it in and then I've screwed the batten in to the, uh, the timber framing that's behind the bay. And then I've done this um, decorative design on the top of it so I'll uh, pat that down I wasn't quite sure how I'm going to do the corners so I'm going to do this bit here and then I'll kind of work out how to uh, how to make that look nice as I go around because they're kind of all different uh, different sizes but I'll try and uh, keep the um, the circle the semicircle in line with each bond on the uh, on the tiles okay so that's all the uh, lead flashing on now which is basically fixed at the top with copper nails as I said and then batten screwed in um, so yeah that's uh, pretty solid and um, it's gonna be watertight I think all I'll finish off with now is a um, little, bit, little bit more patination oil and then I'm gonna um, put a bead of clear silicon adhesive all around the top there and um and that's it jobs are good